Yo, what is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. I am your host, Logic Motion. It is April 23rd, and we have more gaming news. So let's get into the first story of the day, which is a new Fortnite setting will let players avoid seeing confrontational emotes. We want emotes to be a source of good vibes. So Epic Games has announced a new Fortnite setting that will let players toggle visibility on four emotes that can sometimes feel a bit overly confrontational right so this will apply to four emotes as of right now i'm sure they'll add some more but laugh it up take the l whip crack and make it plantain so i don't play fortnite that much so i don't know of like all these emotes but i looked up the make it plantain emote and it's literally a guy uh like he has bananas and he's throwing them out like he's throwing out ones at the club it's crazy <laughs> but um there's really like if people want to have the setting on and if they want to have it off, there's really no problem, really. Like you're giving people the option to either turn it on or off. So if some if people want it on still, they can have that uh, ability to do so. And if people want to take it off, they also have that ability to do so. I know in um, in Tekken, they have a, a special item called uh, the mirror or something. And what it does is after you lose or win the match, your opponent isn't able to do anything so no tea bagging no anything like that and i usually leave it off just because you know it, you know it's a part of the game i feel like you're missing a good chunk of the game if you're missing out on that but you know sometimes like the saltiness can get to you so uh having this setting is just good for those people that just they don't want to see it they don't want to have anything to do with it and that's fine uh like i said it won't apply to people that turn off the setting so it's fine and we also have another fortnite story which is samus didn't appear in fortnite because nintendo wanted her to be switch exclusive the metroid mascot could have starred alongside god of wars kratos and halo's master chief so i mean this is just nintendo being nintendo it sucks but like i feel like they don't even have to use samus right uh, they could have used uh, Bayonetta. That's a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Well, not necessarily, but kind of. They could have used her. They don't really need to use Samus. And I, I don't think Nintendo was ever going to play ball with this. It would have been cool to see Samus or any other Nintendo character in Fortnite, but I don't think they would have ever played ball with this. It just, it, it just wouldn't have happened. It's too much of a long shot. I know like Halo did it, uh, PlayStation did it with Kratos, but we probably won't see this with Nintendo. They're not, you know, they don't care to be like PlayStation or be like Xbox. They're their own thing. They want their IPs on their own console and they don't want to deviate from that formula. So uh, Switch is a locked in console. They don't want their characters to be anywhere else. And, you know, that's just that's just really what we kind of have to deal with. I personally would love to see them kind of branch out a little bit more, put the, you know, put their characters in Fortnite. It's not like we're playing the games, right? But uh, I think it'd be cool if they did that. It would have just been weird if Samus did come out and she wasn't exclusive. Then you'd probably have like PlayStation, like they would probably make their character exclusive to PlayStation. Like, oh, you can only use this skin on PlayStation even if you have it, doesn't matter. So it's probably good Epic went this route because this would have been a, a bad thing moving forward xbox would have took their exclusive skins and made it you can only use these skins on it it, it just would have been it would have been bad uh and then like in in turn it could have been like oh if you're if you're on pc and someone has a samus skin well they're just going to look like a default skin now right because they don't want to show their console or i'm sorry they don't want that character to be on other platforms so it's just i don't think it's a good idea unless they're all into it and this story happened a couple of days ago, and I'm a little late to it, but PlayStation trophies and overlays coming to Ghost of Tsushima, director's cut on PC. So this is really cool. So basically, Ghost of Tsushima is going to be the first like uh, Sony PlayStation uh, PC game that gets trophies. So whatever you do on Ghost of Tsushima on PC will, in retroact, Ha like give you trophies for PlayStation, which is really cool. So you basically just connect your account and uh boom like you're you're good to go so this is really cool just because like uh, i'm a pc guy steam achievements are cool but they don't really do it like xbox achievements or playstation trophies so it's really cool that they're bringing this feature to pc i think it's a good idea i think it's a great idea you know get people to get your game on pc also giving them an incentive like oh you know these are these achievements or these trophies or whatever 
this is cool. Um, and they didn't even have to do this. Apparently, we're getting an overlay system too. So I wonder how that's going to work. I'm very curious about that. Um, but this is really just like super consumer friendly to PC. Uh, they didn't have to do this and they they did it. It's it's crazy how consumer friendly uh, PlayStation is being to PC. And maybe it's just because they have to they want to get these sales on PC. They know there's a big market out there and they would just want to make every PC person happy. Or maybe they spend a lot of money on their games. And so the way to kind of get that money back is to release like good ports on PC just because you're you're grabbing a whole nother audience. Right. And I've always been a big believer in you're never going to have another day one release date, like a big day one release date again, unless you release your game on another platform. Right. So like God of War, let's just say this is an example. God of War is only going to sell really like that one time. Right. So boom, it, it releases. Uh, everyone buys it and you're not really going to have a big day like that ever, ever again on PlayStation unless you release your game on another platform that, you know, that people have never tried that game before. So I, I think it's a good idea. I think people are hyped uh, just to play these PlayStation games on PC. Uh, you know, you have people playing it at higher frame rates, uh, higher resolutions. It's just it's just good. It's just fun. Uh, now with the incentive of the trophies too, it's it's really cool. I like this idea. I I hope it comes to other games too, like Ratchet and Clank. Don't stop there. God of War, Last of Us. Uh, all, you know, even Hell Divers. Give us all the uh, the the trophies for these games. You know, and give us that overlay system too. If that's something they're working on, uh, Returnal as well. That would that would just be really cool. I would like to see more of this. And really sad news. Little Big Planet three has been taken offline forever due to ongoing technical issues resulted in little big planet three servers for PS4 being taken offline temporarily in January, 2024. The decision has been made to keep the servers offline indefinitely. All online services, including access to other players creations for little big planet three are no longer available. User generated content stored locally on your PS4 will remain available. Any new UGC you created can be played on your PS4, but not shared. Offline features such as campaign will remain playable. Thank you for your support. This is awful. It's just terrible. This is coming from a guy that bought Little Big Planet, the first one, day one, and didn't really think much of it. But when I actually played it, it was awesome. So to hear that you can't play, you can't share your creations, you can't play other people's creations, that's what the game was created upon. Like, I, it's. It sucks. Um, like that was one of the things that I, I remember, uh, and I was in middle school at the time. Like I, you know, I was a little teenager. They that was one of the things Little Big Planet had always talked about: user created content. Uh, just like you can create, share with your friends. You can make something, play, play it with your friends. You guys can go online, play other people's creations. Like that was that was what Little Big Planet was about. So to keep the servers offline indefinitely, it, I, I don't know if this is a lazy decision. I don't know if they just can't fix it, um, but it really is unfortunate. I I don't like to to see messages like this. This is like the, the like this ruins the game, you know, and how how could you even trust a company anymore after after this right all your creations are gone uh you can't play other people's creation like it just sucks like it, you know it really does and it's not like i'm not saying like that is all there is to little big planet because it does have a campaign it does have uh, other stuff that you can do but like once like this <laughs> it's that's it you know like the user created content is what like held the longevity of the game so this this just sucks to hear I don't like this at all. I wish it wasn't the case. Uh, this is this is bad. I hate it. And last story of the day is um, there will be a new Xbox digital showcase. It is coming April 29th. So they're going to just showcase some games, I'm sure, uh, which is a week from now. So just stay tuned for that. I hope we get some cool new games. Um, you know, all these events are really cool. Just showing, showing off some cool stuff. I hope we get like actual gameplay on stuff. I don't know what I'm looking forward to, but I feel like this year, like it started off really well and it's still doing well, but I don't really think there's anything else I'm excited for this year. Uh, but 
the the year started off strong and i'm really happy for that maybe star wars outlaws maybe it's made by ubisoft so we'll see but i hope they show off some cool stuff and uh we will be there okay that's all the gaming news i have for today if you liked the video please do give it a thumbs up if you thought the video was awful give it a thumbs down each and every one help to let me know you know what what i need to do to improve basically if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do subscribe leave a comment what do you think about the new xbox showcase they're showing off is there anything you're excited for what do you think about sam as being exclusive to the switch and not being on other platforms uh just let me know what do you think with that being said this has been beyond plug and play thank you for watching if you made it this far in the video and i will see you next time take care